too many men complaining about what they want and what they're they're seeing in their lives, not realizing that what you coming across in your life when it comes to dating, when it comes to picking out women, is a reflection of what you are. A few days ago, I was having a conversation with this guy. He was telling me about his uh, issues that he's having with women is in this day and age. You know, he was telling me about all of the struggles that he's having and telling me about what he doesn't like about the women of this day and age, you know, the modern women and talking about how he knows a girl that he was dealing with. And, um, she was the, she was pretty and all that, or she had the, the, you know, the BBL, the veneers, she went to college. So she's educated, she's smart, but she's highly into men with money. And she's the kind of woman that really don't care how the guy make his money as long as he got it. He was saying she was into scammers and drug dealers and stuff like that. And she actually had a baby with a guy that ended up going to jail. So I'm assuming maybe he was bringing her up because she came back to him after it was all said and done, right? So I'm talking to this guy. We talking and talking and talking. He telling me what kind of woman he 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 won't, you know, what kind of woman he see himself being with, what kind of woman it would take to make him settle down, actually. Cause basically, you know, he was went through his rant of talking about this woman. He was talking about how he was completely not even interested in a relationship because in his mind, all women were like the one that he was describing to me, the BBL lady, you know? And uh he absolutely like, man, I ain't stuck in none of these bees, man. I'm tired of this, and I ain't going through that, and they this and they that. <laughs> All of the the usual things that you hear come out of red pill guy's mouth, right? So we talking, and I'm finding out that there are some things that are sticking out to me. He drank all the time. He's not a loyal guy anyways. You know, he talked to different women. He always you know, hollering at different women whenever he out. As a matter of fact, he may or may not be talking to somebody right now, but he's still looking. So my question is, at this point, what make you think you deserve a woman like the woman you're describing that you want? Because truth be told, and I ain't going to pick on this guy, it ain't even about him. It's, it's about the mindset because it's real coming in this day and age. You got a lot of men, even on these podcasts, they describe the kind of woman they want to be in a relationship with. And nine times out of ten, they're going to describe a, a Proverbs 31 woman, a virtuous woman, a woman that goes to, to church and a woman that's modest and a woman that uh don't show off her body and walk out the door half naked and she don't party and you know what I'm saying she she's about her family and she's devoted to God and she wants to do clean fun like hanging out with with women that are of the faith and they're not wild and and you know getting drunk and partying and all that kind of stuff you want a woman that's mild and laid back and content and happy with just being with her man and her kids but like I said, what make you think you deserve a woman like that if you are just as bad as the woman that you described in the in the beginning of the conversation? The woman that has the BBL, that has the veneers, the one that likes to party, the one that shows her body off, the one that is that's infatuated with money and she's attracted to the scammers and the dope boys. You just as bad as her. But you won't a church girl. So you got to look at your yourself in the mirror and realize that your values ain't lining up with what you want. If you want a church girl, you want a woman that's, you know, a godly woman, a kingdom woman, then you need to be that too. You can't be out here thinking to yourself that you're going to continue to do the stuff you do 
continue to be a womanizer, continue to party, continue to run around with your boys talking about who you done hooked up with and how many girls you got on the side and constantly giving your number out and taking numbers and going on dates behind your girlfriend back, your baby mama back and so on and so forth, having unprotected sex, having sex period with different people. You can't keep doing all that. And then thank God going to come put you a woman that is a saint. <laughs> come, You thank God going to put a woman like that in your life so you can corrupt her and mess up her life. You got to be crazy. Too many men complaining about what they want and what they're, they're seeing in their lives, not realizing that what you coming across in your life when it comes to dating, when it comes to picking out women, is a reflection of what you are. And when you change, when you get into church, when you start reading your Bible, when you stop partying, when you stop sleeping around and you are presenting yourself in the best form you could present yourself in. Then the church girl, the, the calm, cool, collected woman that wants to build a family and wants to be dedicated to you and God, she'll be able to come into your life. But until then, that's like God. I heard a, it's a, a saying, fattening the frog for a snake. You the snake. <laughs> the, the, you know, in this example, the, the, the virtuous woman is the frog. God going to build this woman up, make her holy and, and, and perfect in his eyes and all these things. And then turn around and give her to you so you can mess her life up. How can you think that makes sense? So, moral of the story is, if you want a better woman in your life, you have to be a better man. So you can be a better man in her life than what she been coming across. Because guaranteed, this woman that you got in your mind, the one that you, you telling yourself a woman has to be before you settle down with her, I guarantee she done came across 10 of you this week alone, and she done turned every last one of them down. Why? Because you ain't got the same values as her. It's as simple as that. When will y'all get that through y'all mind? You'll see guys on Fresh and Fit talking about how you should sleep with 50 women before you get married. You, you see these guys talking about how you need to get somebody. Oh, Lord. <laughs> A guy tweeted, that the way, the quickest way to become a high value man is to get a vasectomy in your 20s. Get a vasectomy before you have a kid while you're young. Some that ain't 100% reversible. Have a vasectomy, have sex with a bunch of women, focus on money, avoid a, a serious relationship. This is what they preaching. But then to tell you, then, but then a complain about women not being virtuous. It ain't lining up. These men don't deserve what they're asking for, even with all the money. It don't matter if you got a Bentley, a Lambo, whatever, high rise, skyscraper, whatever you got. It don't matter if you got any of that. You don't deserve a kingdom woman if you, gonna, if you ain't going to do nothing but mess up her life. And that's what 90% of y'all going to do. And on the flip side, if you're a woman and you're of the world and you sitting around here telling yourself you want a godly man, the man that you're describing is a godly man, somebody that is is uh, the, the same exact thing what I just described, but a male version of it. You want a goody two-shoes guy. You want a guy that's going to be loyal. He's going to church. He's dedicated to family. He's 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 not going to cheat on you. He going, you know what I'm saying? He don't club. He don't party. You want all of these things in your man. But every weekend, you in the club getting drunk, twerking on Snapchat and Instagram and everything else, going home with different dudes and stuff like that because you're drunk and you make bad decisions when you're drunk. Time to tighten up. Your values have to match with what you want. Otherwise, it ain't never going to work. And if you are lucky enough to some kind of way swindle somebody that's good like, like this and, and get them to, to lock in with you, 
you ain't gonna do nothing but mess their life up. And then when y'all break up, they'll be around here jaded and red pilled, just like the rest of these guys. But that's all I wanted to say about that. I'll see y'all on the next one.